Okay, well this is a, a Mitsubishi MIEV. I write about automobiles for both the Kitsap Peninsula Business Journal and West Sound Home and Garden Magazine as well as 14 different city and lifestyle magazines around the country. I get a different car to drive every week and this was my car of the week. This is the, the plug for it. It's standard. This has been uh, industry standard. Every electric car will have the same kind of plug. This is the 110 volt version. You just, you're ready to go. Okay, let's go for a spin. With Port Orchard looking at doing the electrical vi electric vehicle charging station, I wanted to have one and drive it because I wanted to see exactly what we're getting into and it turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. So I'm, I'm very high on this. We're just moving right along, getting in on the car in front of us here. But it's got plenty of power. Of course, it's a curiosity. Everybody wants to, to look at it and talk about it. See, here's some folks staring at it. It has road noise like any other car. It just doesn't have any engine noise. And this is a car they've been selling in Japan for over a year. And if you've never driven a right-hand drive car, it has little quirks like the directional signals are on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. So what I found is every time I go to signal for a turn, I turn on the windshield wipers. But other than that, I haven't really found a lot that I don't like. Uh, in the subcompact realm, this is equivalent to just about anything else you can buy. For as many of the electric vehicles that are going to be sold in the Seattle area, we really feel strongly that if we can let people know that they have the ability to come over here as tourists, visit our downtown, eat in our restaurants, shop in our shops, and they can charge their car while they're doing it, if we can assure them they can get home, they'll come.